Okay, question four is all about half marathons. Um, it says you can use a spreadsheet file. We're not going to do that. We're just going to do it on the paper. And it says in his spare time, free time, Marcus runs half marathons. The length of a half marathon is about 21.1 kilometers corresponding to half of a marathon. The curve below shows measurements from Marcus's half marathon run. Read from the curve how long Marcus takes to run the first five kilometers of the half marathon. So just looking at that curve, five kilometers and reading across and down, it's about 21 minutes. Part two, how long does Marcus take on average running each kilometer of the half marathon? Well, 118 minutes is the time it takes him for 21.1 kilometers. So one kilometer is 118 divided by 21.1 minutes. And that comes to about 5.6 minutes every one kilometer in about 5.6 minutes. Question 4.3. Did Marcus take the longest time running the first or the second half of the half marathon? You need to give a reason for your answer. Well, I saw lots of answers last time I marked this where people did some very specific calculations about how long he took to run each half. I think it's sufficient just to refer to the shape of the curve. So you can see for the first half, the curve is steeper than it is for the second half where it starts to flatten out and it's flattening out because over the same period of time he's running fewer kilometers so I've just written the longest time is the part of the curve with the lowest gradient which is the last half question 4.4 Esther was also in the half marathon run she began at the same time as Marcus and ran each kilometer in exactly five minutes. How long did Esther take to complete the half marathon? So five um, minutes times 21.1 kilometers means it takes her 105.5 minutes. I don't think you need to convert that to one hour 45 minutes and 30 seconds but you can if you want 4.5 in Esther's run there was a linear relationship between the time in minutes and the length in kilometers find a formula for the function that describes the linear relationship well a linear relationship just means that if you do the graph of it it's an exact straight line and there's some key information. Um, she ran each kilometer in exactly five minutes. We just had the information. So in fact, if we were to do the graph of it, and um, there it is. I've just uh, stolen it from a later part of the question. The blue line is Marcus's progress. And the red dotted line that I've done is Esther's progress. She does each kilometer in five minutes. So in a hundred minutes, she'll do 20 kilometers. In um, one minute, then she'll have done a fifth of a kilometer or 0.2 of a kilometer. So the length in kilometers is 0.2 times the time in minutes. We've done a lot of stuff in class about straight lines and their equations and you should be used to the fact that the equation is generally uh, y equals something x plus something. The something x is how steep it is, how much it's going up for everyone across and then the plus something on the end is where it cuts which is zero in this case so there's not plus anything on the end. Now when I marked this, I saw a lot of people write um, y and x here, so y equals 0.2x. If you do that, 
you've got to tell us what the x and the y are because they're not defined in the question. So if you say y equals 0.2x, then somewhere you need to tell me that y is the length in kilometers and x is the time in minutes. And then 4.6, investigate um, how far Marcus had run by the time Esther overtook him. A couple of ways you can approach this. You can look at the table with the times and think about how long Esther has run after those times. So because she's going um, at this constant rate, then you know that um, at zero minutes she's done zero kilometers. At 10 minutes, you know it's two kilometers because she's do, doing every kilometer in exactly five minutes. And then you can do Esther's progress in kilometers and compare it to Marcus's. And then you can see that it reaches a point somewhere between 12 and 13 kilom 12 and 14 kilometers where Esther has run more than Marcus. And another way you can think about that is the graph here. And as I did before, plot Esther's progress as a graph. You know they both start at zero. You know that after 100 minutes, Esther will have run exactly 20 kilometers and Esther's progress is a straight line because she is constantly going at the same speed. And then you can see from the graph the point where Esther overtakes Marcus because it's where the lines cross. And then you can read off from the graph that that is at about 13 kilometers. So I've written um, investigation, see the answer sheet, and then I would have all of this extra information clearly marked on my answer sheet that I hand in. Esther overtakes Marcus after about 13 kilometers. It's not just, it's not enough just to give the answer. You need it backed up with this extra work on the answer sheet, which needs to be handed in and clear for the person marking it to see. So there it is in neat. And the marks are three, four, 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 three, four.